The man opened his backpack. The people around him stuffed the money they had just taken out, even the staff. That's how Fujiwara openly robbed a bank, but even so, Fujiwara couldn't get excited because he realized that his superpowers didn't work on Shui Fujiwara tried to control him again, but Shui could still walk freely. In desperation, Fujiwara had to control the driver to hit him. In just three days, Shaiichi was able to walk without any problems. Shui asks the police for help, but the police didn't believe him because they don't believe that in this world, someone can control others at will. When Shui was sad and ready to leave, the police pulled out a gun and shot him indiscriminately. It turns out that the police are controlled by Fujiwara. Luckily, Shui reacted quickly, so he didn't die. To prevent this from happening again, Shui hurried to the theater. He found the people in the theater wide-eyed. They were sitting in their seats, staring at them intently. Just when he was puzzled, Fujiwara in the corner, he began to control them with his mind. The crowd all started jumping downstairs. Shuichi was very sad to see this scene. He didn't want innocent people to die. Just then, Fujiwara's body finally couldn't withstand the backlash of his superpower. He spat out blood and became unsteady on his feet. He crashed through the railing and fell to the ground. Shuichi jumped down and wrapped his arms around Fujiwara, protecting him from fatal injuries. The end of the story, Fujiwara will also stand trial.